Ray Uice with OP Noobs, PC Gaming by PC Gamers, coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas, covering PAX South. I'm with Andre Korotkov. Andre, thank you. Thank you, and nice to meet you again. <laughs> again, we met in Play NYC in New York. Mushroom Wars, great game, very addictive. Not a tower defense, strategy, tactics, uh, multi-layered. How has it been coming along, would you say, as the owner of the studio? Well, um, it's difficult to say for me, but, um, well, we made it a long way from the original game to this sequel uh, with all these new mechanics like uh, mobile elements with heroes, etc., etc. And uh, after the release on, uh, on Steam, uh, we need to focus on different platforms to keep uh, new players coming into the game and to have the good online. So I can say that right now we have around 90,000 players playing online each day. So I believe it's a good result. And we want to keep it growing constantly uh, during this year with a number of DLCs coming in spring and uh, summer, for instance. 90,000 players a game, that's a lot. No, not nine, 19. <laughs> 19,000. We have, we have almost a million players, uh, but I mean, uh, each day, 19, 19, yes, simultaneous. So the studio is focusing right now on growing the player base? Yeah, we see that uh, our game is uh, pretty much successful yeah. and uh, we are focusing on developing this title uh, at least uh, through this year. And uh, only in the end of uh, this year we'll start thinking on the, the next game. So, as I said, we have big plans for the Mushroom Wars too. I think that's the right approach. I've noticed the studio has been refining the game and introducing new elements, and it is very successful. It's a very polished title. Uh, I reviewed it online. I loved it. I played the mobile version. I think that it's a little different mechanically. Yeah, yeah. yeah they are different because for mobile, we, of course, um, uh, made uh, free-to-play mechanics, and uh, they spoiled the game a little bit, but uh, the good thing is that the game is free on mobile. And on the Steam and consoles, the game is paid to play, and there is more competitive scene there uh, compared to mobile, I believe. So that, that's the main difference. Yeah, you said earlier that there were a couple players who just dominate. Yeah, and uh, we just have a number of ESL tournaments and uh, there are maybe five top players uh, that no one could uh, beat them and uh, maybe two of them are the very 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 unbeatable guys so uh, we are thinking of how to change the situation to introduce tournaments for uh, lower skills players and uh, uh, add more leagues uh, to our system something like this I bet that's a big challenge the whole balancing aspect and keeping more casual gamers yeah. interested in the game. It's not fun to get stomped all over all our, the time. Our goal is to grow casual gamer at least into mid-core or hardcore gamer. Uh, this is uh, why we have a story-driven campaign and for instance on mobile a lot of players are starting to play campaign first and only after that they are trying multiplayer and became not casual already. They become hardcore one. Awesome. Very exciting. I'm I'm glad to see that you guys are out and about, and I hope continued success for the studio. It's a great title, Mushroom Wars 2. Keep an eye on it in 2018 and onward. Andre, thank you. A pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>